So these are the notes for the Declaration of Independence. Um, this is a rather a, a brief set of notes. You had several um, in-class activities that needed to be completed. If you don't see the, those um, uh, as a grade, um, then in, you probably are missing some work. So make sure you are checking your grades to make sure you have all your work completed. So let's look at the, the notes for uh, this chapter. We talked about and did an activity that talked about your story. That was the snapshot autobiography, which you, if you have not turned it in, needs to get turned in. And then the next thing we looked at was a, a small activity that we did uh, in pairs about uh, you telling the story of USA. Again, if you do not have that grade, you need to uh, be checking on how to complete that. So here's our targets for the declaration. Number one, understand that the beginning of our country came as a result of conflict. Two, understand how people in conflict use persuasion, compromise, consensus building, and negotiation to resolve differences. Three, analyze the declaration to understand reasons why the document was written. And finally, we're going to four, evaluate the effectiveness of the document as a step to independence. All right. So these are the essential questions, and you're going to have to fit those in after uh, the targets. I did not uh, add those, so you'll need to do this. Essential questions are this. Why was it written? Two, what was its purpose? Three, did it achieve its purpose? So we'll come back to those questions at the end of this particular assignment. All right. So this is a website that um, you can access um, in the assignment for um, uh, the themes of the um, declaration. And so you can take a look at this if you look at that assignment. I'm not going to show that um, at this point. Okay. Now, sorry, jumped ahead there. The, then we identified from this, we identified the themes that we saw from uh, within the declaration. And let me tap on these to show you. And I've got one more here somewhere. There it is. All right, there are six themes that we're focusing on. Equality, dissatisfaction, freedom and independence, tyranny, legitimacy, and principles. All of these are included in the declaration. So, again, you have the assignment themes of the declaration. There's a graphic organizer. Uh, we did it as an in-class assignment. If you were not there or you're missing this assignment, please check with me or find it in the stuff that you have in your book bags and um, get it done and turn it in to me. I'll be happy to work with you on that. Now, um, yeah, this is just that portion. Okay. So how did the Continental Congress come to accept the declaration? Well, the methods, what methods did supporters of the document use to convince non-supporters? Obviously, we, having watched the movie, you know there was a lot of uh, uh, conflict, a lot of disruption, uh, and, uh, and really some very harsh feelings with regards to uh, becoming independent. But the um, specifics were um, ways that were used to convince non-supporters was one was persuasion, another was negotiation, compromise, and finally consensus building. And to go into a little greater detail here, we'll start down here at the bottom. Negotiation is the process of sorry, settling differences through a discussion of issues. In other words, to, you know, you're talking to each other. You're spending time um, going over. It's a discussion, and sometimes it is a back and forth until you come to an agreement. But it's not um, adversarial in any way. Compromise. This is the process of making concessions to settle a difference. If you've heard the idea of a win-win, compromise is often a win-win situation. So you're giving up something to gain something, and that's for both parts for both parties, sorry, meaning that they both come out with something good. Persuasion then is the next one, and this is a process of inducing others through accepting a point of view by means of reasoning and argumentation. And you're, you're really trying to say, this is the right way, and you need to think like me. And if that's possible, then you have persuaded that person. 
All right, finally, this is a group situation. Consensus building is all about getting a group to work towards achieving a general agreement. And that, in particular, is what we're going to be looking at with the, the movie 1776 as they work, the, the uh, people who supported the declaration work to convince the rest of the group to support as well. So when you watch the movie, okay, and then after the movie is over with, we're going to look at this idea of the Declaration as a persuasive document. And this is a reminder of what a persuasive document is. And I'm not going to go over that other than to say that uh, Jefferson did a really good job working hard to um, take on all of these characteristics of a persuasive document. Now, there is, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. So these are the elements of a persuasive document, and you should be writing these down. All these elements do exist within the Declaration except a rebuttal. That is missing. And so as a result, we're going to um, do an activity in class that includes that. All right. This is a persuasive document that we're going to do. It is due the 9th for Brown, uh, Wednesday, 918 for Orange, Thursday, 9-19. All right. Okay, so the assignment that you're going to be expected to uh, complete is this one, uh, Declaration of uh, a Persuasive Document. If you open it up, you will find that there are two parts to it. The first part has to do with whether you believe that it was a successful document or not, persuading people to the issue of independence. Now, feel free to use evidence that you've gleaned from the movie or your own prior knowledge to support your argument. Um, and I have included a PowerPoint for you to take a look at to help you with hopefully understanding or getting a, a feel of what was the, the, the document. All right, then there's a part two. Now, let me say right up front that I want you to create a document here with these two parts, total of 400 words, a total of 400 words for both parts. So to complete a good persuasive document, the idea of um, this document is, is that um, a rebuttal was missing. So the declaration is missing this essential piece. In your essay, I would like for you to write a paragraph or two or more for a rebuttal to the declaration. Use the resources I have provided uh, to help you with this paragraph. Be sure that you use good grammar and facts to support your argument. I'm not interested in what you think, but rather do some research about how King George would respond to the declaration. So it's from his point of view. Why would he disagree with this document? Would he see the dispute as something different than colonies? A paragraph is a minimum of five sentences. I expect good grammar. In particular, please do not give me a little I when you're referring to yourself. I expect to be a capital I. Capitalize those first words of a sentence and so on. All right. This is the, for, this is the assignment for the Declaration of Persuasive Document. If you have any questions, see me. Talk to you later.